Singapore is trialling face verification for business and public agencies. The service offers another way to verify identities for transactions while improving customer experience. From entering workplaces to marking class attendance, these are ways facial recognition technologies are being used worldwide. And with Singapore forging on as a smart nation, authorities are looking to offer face verification as a service if trials prove successful. This means one more way for consumers to verify identities for transactions and other purposes. Typically, face verification requires the company to collect face data to match off. But this won't be necessary since the service is from the government, so businesses that adopt the service won't need to build the system from scratch. Industry players say there's been a growing interest in face verification locally, with use cases from office access to finding lost children in malls. Artificial intelligence firm Xgera Labs adds that the technology is sometimes combined with other applications. There are many uh, other technologies that can uh, complement the facial recognition uh, technologies. Uh, just uh, as you uh, mentioned, there is this uh, uh, thermal scanner. Basically, it uh, can measure the temperature uh, on the face uh, so that uh, it can do uh, basically to see whether this person has a fever. And at the same time, it can recognize the person. So basically, who has the fever and who doesn't have the fever. Facial biometrics also has advantages over other data forms, explains Global Technology and Defense Group ST Engineering, which has its own face verification system. Now let's talk about uh, fingerprint, right? Fingerprint, of course, is good. It captures it capture the individuals, the uniqueness of the fingerprint. But the, the, the point is that in this uh, COVID-19 pandemics, there is the contact surface. After a person has, has uh, get his fingerprint scanned, you need to sanitize the surface before another person can come in. Then we look at uh, iris uh, recognition. The technology is matured, but it's costly to implement. And if privacy is a concern, the government assures that its face verification process requires consent. It's also not releasing any biometric data to businesses. They'll only know if a person has been verified. The government has also not shared details on how businesses might use its face verification service, but it says trials are underway with agencies like the Inland Revenue Authority of Singapore and integrated spaces like our Tampanese hub.